Summer. It's a time of barbecues, long, lazy days, and vacations. But it is also local emergency responders' busiest time of the year for water rescues and drownings. So as school lets out soon, we're airing a special series, Water Survival Week. Jim Spencer joins us live from the banks of the Guadalupe River in New Braunfels to kick off this series. And Jim, you've learned just how terrifying being in the water like that in unsafe conditions can be. Yeah, that's right. I did. With the help of an Austin Travis County EMS rescue crew, in fact, several members of the crew, I quickly learned how powerful moving water can be and how difficult it is for rescuers to try to save someone caught in this current. A rainy day in New Braunfels. Flash flooding in the area. The perfect time and place to learn just how powerful and deadly swift water can be under the watchful eye of an Austin Travis County EMS rescue crew, I suit up. A waterproof suit. A little tight around the neck. A helmet and a flotation device. My gear on, I head down to the water to learn a survival swim. The first step in saving yourself if you ever fall in swift water. Get on your back, try and get your feet up so that you're not going to get snagged on anything under the water. And as quickly as you can, point your head towards the shore on your back and start aggressively swimming backwards towards that shore. A few more practice runs and I'm ready to see what it's like to be rescued. Rescuers are downstream and another on shore, ready to toss a floating bag attached to a rope, my lifeline. Rope! Grab on, hold it over your shoulder, put it over your shoulder. Safely on the banks again with the help of the rescue team, the water's force takes me by surprise. You don't have any control. You're at the water's mercy. Round two proves to be even more intense. I make mistakes. I try again. This time, the rapids get me. My last try. I take the life vest off to feel the full force of the water. Extra rescuers stand by just in case. jacket on. Where do you don't have a life jacket on? It takes me four tries to get it right, but in a flash flood, you may only have one. This is a very unpredictable, it's a very dynamic environment, and it can it can grab a hold of you at any moment, and that's it. That's why the best way to keep yourself safe is to avoid swift water altogether. But if you find yourself swept into fast-moving water, remember, get on your back, get your feet up, and your eyes downstream, angling your body to the current and paddling towards shore. And if a rescuer is nearby, watch for the throwback. Pull the rope over your shoulder and hold on. It doesn't matter who you are, how much training you have, how much experience you have, or what equipment you have, it can still kill you. Well, and tragically, the same day that I was on this river, a person drowned just a few miles downstream. That is a powerful reminder that no matter how strong of a swimmer you are, swift water is unpredictable and it is potentially deadly. Jim Spencer, KXAN, Austin News. First warning weather, live on the banks of the Guadalupe River.